so today is really exciting because I'm picking up three little mice and they're actually not for me. They're coming into our rescue, which is funny because I did exclusively say that we can only take rabbits and guinea pigs because I have very limited indoor space and my friend that I'm running the rescue with, she has even less indoor space. So can't really take too many small animals like rats, gerbils, hamsters, but I couldn't resist and I couldn't say no because I can make space, I can make it work. So we are picking them up today. So they are actually coming from Burrowed Hearts, which is another rescue, and she's currently not able to take in hamsters and mice and other really small pets because she's moving soon. And when someone asked if they could drop off these mice, I was like, say yes, and I'll take them off your hands for you. So we have very limited information. We just knew there were three females, around five or six months old, I think, and they are now with her. So they are definitely female, which is good, and they're in okay health condition. So I'm gonna go and pick them up and I can't wait for you guys to see them. Okay, I've got them and I just need to take a minute because we were just centimeters away from having a car crash and where I live is surrounded by countryside and forests and our deer populations are thriving a little bit too much because they are always on the road but you kind of learn the certain places they're most likely to step out and I wasn't going the speed limit because I was expecting this at any minute. Car behind me didn't get the memo, they were riding my ass the entire time. So when two fully grown fallow deer stepped out in front of my car, they are literally like half the size of my smart car, I couldn't break because the car behind me would have slammed into us. So I don't know how I managed to do this, but my instinct was to just go full blown Mario Kart mode. I managed to like swerve my way through these two deer in the middle of the road without having to brake at all. I don't know how I did it, but we're alive, the mice are alive, the deer are alive. My poor mum was clutching onto the mice for dear life, making sure that they didn't get flung if we didn't end up crashing into the deer or into a ditch or something. But I somehow managed to avoid this. Don't know how, but we, had a near-death experience well we would probably be fine but the deer definitely would not have and that makes me really sad so we're home <laughs> but here they are they are very very cute and quite shy this black and white one i'd say is probably the most outgoing so far she has spent the entire car ride trying to escape so the other two are quite shy but my mum actually named them on the car ride home so i will zoom in and introduce you hi hello so this is the first girl, she's a black and white pied, and we're going with a bird theme for the name, so this is Magpie. This is the next girl, she is a red and white pied, she has very very small eyes, and her name is Robin. And this is the third girl, she is the biggest and the shyest of the three, and she is a splashed I think, and she has ruby eyes, and her name is Pigeon. So I am going to set them up in an enclosure that we've got, but let me show you the setup they came with. So this is their enclosure, this is what they were living in and dropped off with, and I've just put them back in here temporarily so I could show you for size reference, and I'm showing this for educational purposes. I'm not doing this to shame or bash the previous owner, I just thought it'd be really helpful to show a before and after. So. Not shaming anyone with this, but this is the enclosure they came with. I believe it's the Savic Gerbilarium, and it's 51 centimetres in height, 70 centimetres long ways, and then 37 centimetres deep. So, not the worst enclosure I've seen for mice, but it is a bit below the minimum of 80 by 50 centimetres that we have in this country for mice. To be honest, if they just made this cage slightly bigger and ditched the weird metal shelf in the middle, it would be a fairly good enclosure because you can actually put quite a lot of bedding in the bottom. They haven't, but you can if you wanted to. And with most bird cages, you just can't do that. So if they made this a few centimetres bigger, it wouldn't be as bad. Um, but there's not much bedding in the bottom and the bedding they have used... It is just shredded paper, which isn't the worst bedding, it's not dangerous, but it's not very absorbent, so they definitely have a smell to them. So it's not the worst enclosure I've seen with rescue mice, I've definitely seen a lot smaller, but the biggest concern is the lack of enrichment. They have got a couple of toys, they've got a ladder and a few chew toys, hello, and most of the toys seem to be in the base, so there's a few like chew blocks, and I think this is supposed to be what they're sleeping under, just a couple of like coconuts. 
but there's not really anywhere for them to sleep properly. There's not really many toys, climbing toys, chew toys, enrichment, foraging toys. It's a bit empty. <laughs> Because of that, I think, within the 10 minutes I've just put them back in here temporarily, this girl is monkey barring on the top. She is also chewing the bars because I think she's probably a bit bored, so I can't wait to give her more enrichment and things to do because she's definitely exhibiting stress and boredom behaviours. I'm not sure if you can see all of the discoloration on the bars there, but that is probably all from where she has been chewing them. Now, one thing that was in the enclosure that we took out straight away and we've not put back in is a sun bath. Now this is not necessary or safe for mice, especially this type of sun, it's very very fine, very dusty, and that can irritate their respiratory system, so that is not going anywhere near them. They did also come with a container of their food. Now looking at this, I'm not entirely sure what brand this is exactly. I'd probably say it's something like Reggie Rat and Mouse mix or something. There's a lot of corn, a lot of pieces of like pea flakes and things. Not really something that I would recommend feeding, so they are going to have this today, but I'm going to gradually switch them over to what I feed my mice, which is the Berry Mix by Rat Rations. But yeah, that was their enclosure. Definitely not the worst I've ever seen, but definitely not suitable for mice, so let's get them in something a bit more enriching. And this is their temporary enclosure they're in now. This is an Alaska, and this is 84 by 49 by 45 centimeters, I think, so much more of an upgrade. And I have just thrown in all of my like random mouse supplies that don't really go with any of my themes, but I have hoarded for years, so it's a good job I did, because I've got so many random accessories, so I just put them in. The only thing I've not put in here that I could do with is one, a platform to hold some sort of water bowl. They have got a water bottle on the side, but need to find something that can hold a water bowl that they're not gonna cover in the bedding, and also a wheel. I don't have any spare wheels, so gonna order one for them. But for now, they've got many more things to be doing, so they've got multiple places to sleep and hide, they've got hammocks, they've got ladders, bridges. This bamboo background, this Alaska actually belongs to my friend who I'm running the rescue with, and she already had this background on, so I've not took it off, I've kept it on, and I think it gives them a lot more coverage um, because they are quite shy. They have got various different sprays, they've got a bunch of tunnels underneath the bedding that you can't really see, and they also have a dig box at the back with different textures in, just instead of having a sand bath, you can give them things like cocoa soil or topsoil, and that is back there. And they've got various different chews and things, so not too shabby for me throwing this together very quickly, just to give them a better setup. It's not my favorite, appearance but they are loving it. I have also chosen the things I've placed in quite wisely because you'll probably notice there's a lot of plastic or ceramic items and I do tend to go for a naturalistic theme with my mice. Just because these mice aren't going to be here for very long I don't want anything that I can't clean very easily because I don't want things transferring between mice so mostly plastic just for ease of cleaning or the few wooden items that are in there not things that I use very often or I can throw them away anyway so that's why I've chosen various different plastic items. Not something that I would usually go for, but it makes rescue mice a lot easier. Okay, update. It's a few days later and I've got them a quick wheel, as in the delivery was quick. I'm sure the wheel will also be quick too, but I have just gone for the Trixie wheel and I had no idea they were doing these in like pastel neon colours. Um, I don't love these wheels for my mice. They do end up over time just breaking, not working, squeaking, but it was cheap and they needed a wheel, so I bought this and then also sorted them with a few things from my store, so platforms, all of that and I need to rearrange their enclosure because they've been having the best time digging, burying every single cage item they've got, so I'm gonna mess that up for them, rearrange things, make it look a bit nicer, and I'll see you when that's done.
Okay, I've just come in to check on the mice and there is definitely a rabbit poop stuck in my foot. Um, but unfortunately it seems like Magpie, who is the black and white one, does have a respiratory infection. And she's not doing it right now, but about 10 minutes ago I recorded this clip of her making pigeon noises. Which is ironic considering one of them is called Pigeon. Um, but she's very clearly making all the noises of having a respiratory infection. So I quickly took this video to show to my vet. So I was really hoping they'd avoid anything like this. They've been here for about a week or so and I've been monitoring them really closely. They've been fine, the other girls are fine and she's still fine in herself. She's active, eating, drinking. She's just very noisy when she breathes so it could be any number of things. It could be something with the previous setup, with the ammonia that was in there or the sun bath or it could be something here that's irritating her. So I have booked her a vet appointment um, and I can't get her in until tomorrow so I think she'll be fine until then but gonna take it to the vets, hopefully get her some antibiotics and get her sorted. This lighting is driving me nuts, I can't position myself in any other way that's not reflecting on my glasses and if I take them off I'm gonna get a migraine but if you would like to help in any way by donating towards their vet bills, however much this is gonna cost us, things like treats and food and accessories whilst they're here. The link to our PayPal is going to be in the description. We do also now have a bank account you can donate to if you want to. I know a couple of people prefer to do it that way instead or you don't have a PayPal. All of that information is going to be in the description and any small amount helps to get them nice things during their stay. I feel like most of this video has just been me sat in one spot on the floor. I thought I'd give you an update on how the mice are doing, specifically this little lady um, after her vet visit. She did the biggest pee on my hand, I forgot to mention. My whole hand was filled with mouse pee and then I had to stand at the reception waiting to pay with a massive pile of pee in my hand and I was so conscious that everybody could smell it so thank you for that. But she is doing okay, the other girls are doing really good. They are still really, really shy, bless them. They've been really enjoying having so much enrichment. They've been interacting with every single inch of their enclosure and chewing things. And luckily Robin, who I think was the biggest suspect of chewing the bars, hasn't done any of that. I've not seen her doing it, I've not seen any damage. So I think she's a lot happier, but this little girl is doing okay. She has good days and bad days. She had about three days where she wasn't making any noises. She had no symptoms. Hey. And I was hopeful that she was on the mend, but then she threw a spanner in the works and started making a noise again. So it's been up and down. She's got a couple of days left of her antibiotics. And then I'm gonna kind of reassess and see whether she needs to continue or if she needs different ones. I really gotta pee right now. I'll just pee right here. The good news is they have actually been reserved. They had a couple of people that were interested in them and one person has reserved them. So we're just kind of waiting for her to get better and not show any symptoms and then they can go to their new home. But yeah, even though they are gonna be staying here until she's better, there's not too many other things to update you on. I think this video is probably already a lot longer than I expected, but I hope you guys enjoyed meeting them. I hope you enjoy this kind of video where I'm rescuing things and showing you them. My intention with making these videos has always been to find them a good home and hopefully one of you guys watching would be interested in adopting, but they've all got adopted pretty quick before I even had the chance to put the videos out there. So I'm gonna carry on as long as I'm rescuing and I will probably take in more mice, even though I said that I wasn't going to, because they are no hassle. Obviously she's had her whole health thing, but I don't mind, I really enjoy looking after them, and you're no bother at all, are you?
But yeah, please send good thoughts to Magpie to get better as soon as possible so she can go to her new home. She's of course be living with her two sisters and then the other mice that their new owner has. So wish them good luck in their new home and don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you soon. Bye. Say bye.